Uh, I'll just do an update on the CNC machine. I've got these two new fans on there. They're four wire fans that can be controlled with a PWM signal from an Arduino. And I'll just give you a quick demo of how loud it is without any speed control, just at full speed. So I don't know, I'll just repeat myself, I don't even know if you can hear that, but as I was saying, they're, um, they're quite good powerful fans, they're about 20 watts each. So on here I've got this one mounted on the electrical enclosure with the 3D printed uh, fan duct that I had in the previous video. And uh, on the cooling reservoir for the, uh, the, the spindle, um, I've got another fan down there on that one. So with a, an array of temperature sensors, I can then decide what speed to run the fans so that they're not running at full speed all the time which would be nice because obviously when the, when the spindle's not running then um, it would be nice if the machine could be quiet. Let's go and have a look at the test rig I've got on the desk and uh, I'll explain what I've done there. And here it is. I have for this demo, let me check the cameras on. Yeah, so for this demo, we've got this uh, flame, what do you call it, blowtorch I've been running, so that's, it's nice and hot. Um, the tip of that's, it's, the flame's off, but it has been running to warm it up as a heat source for the experiment. So this fan's running basically at the, sl the slowest speed, the PWM signal is more or less zero and uh, it's consuming about 50 milliamps so just shows you how low powered it can run because uh, when it's at full power it's using almost one amp or 1000 milliamps so basically all we're doing is taking an analog input on the Arduino through the NTC thermistor and then putting that back out uh, or using using that to scale a pulse width modulation variable output. Sounds so much more complicated when you say it, but anyway, let's do the uh, experiment here. So I'm just going to hover this sort of over the sensor and uh, should be able to hear that fan speeding up. We're about halfway now. And that's uh, full speed. Yeah, so that obviously works. It's pretty simple. And the awesome thing about the uh, Arduino um, you call it community or just the support that they have built into the software is I just used an example sketch that was already there, modified it very slightly, which I'll go into detail about to make it work with this uh, application. Um, I believe I just added, a, added one single line and changed a couple of the numbers and that was it. And so, um, yeah, this is a really awesome entry level project for someone. It might seem complicated, but if someone wanted to get into Arduino and they needed to control a fan for some reason, whether it's some uh, sort of industrial application or just controlling the speed of the fan in a project or even a, uh, in a PC on your computer, um, yeah, this could be a, uh, a good project to, to do for someone getting started in Arduino. Um, the only other thing to mention really here is there's a, uh, a normal 10k resistor and so I've put that in series with the 10k NTC thermistor and that creates a voltage divider so that the signal that, or the, uh, the value the input pin gets changes depending on the uh, temperature of the sensor. Um, Alright, so I'll leave that there for this and um, the rest of the video we'll have a look at on the uh, on the screen in the uh, office studio. Okay, I've got the example sketch loaded up here and then my slightly modified version on the right. So to get to this sketch, if you go into File, Examples, and then Analog, Analog In Out Serial. And so you can see this is the original version on the left here. It's got all the comments next to it. It's a very short sketch. That's the whole thing on this single page here. Um, on the right, my version 
has one extra line and I've modified a couple of the numbers which I'll explain now. So I've changed the analog pin out number to pin three. So that's the, the fan, the, uh, the fan's brown wire is plugged into that. Then sensor values here. So I ran the sketch just like that first and then I was measuring the temperature and I was seeing that on the input side 400 was the value I was seeing for 13 degrees. I then warmed it up with a uh, jug of coffee that I put the temperature sensor on and that was uh, measuring 55 with my thermometer and we're getting 700 as the input value there. So all I had to do was map 400 to 700 and just basically using that to get started with this. So 13 degrees for zero or the lowest speed on the fan is okay and 55 for the highest speed on the fan is also okay. I can probably modify these to maybe say uh, 20 degrees for the slowest speed and then 40 degrees for the highest speed. But anyway we'll use that for now and then I found that what was happening is if I overshoot that 700 this map value, this was trying to output more than 255 which was freaking out the um, the output uh, it seems like it wraps back around again and goes back to zero so and also the opposite is true when uh, if it goes to a negative value so if it goes less than 13 degrees the um, the output value would be negative and then it was wrapping back around to the high and it was um, going to full the, the fan suddenly shut up to full power so to fix that I've added this single line here output value equals constrain output value 0255 so that means if it's lower than 0 it'll be 0 and if it's higher than 255 it'll be 255 pretty simple and that's it and so now if I open the serial monitor we can have a look because I've got it plugged in right now running so as you can see the on the left here we've got sensor value uh, at the moment that's 489, that's the equivalent to output 75, so that's a 75 out of 0 to 255 on the output. So I'll just touch that now with my fingers and you can see that go up. So my fingers are probably about 30 degrees. And yeah, so obviously that, that works fine. Yeah, so it's a nice simple sketch. And in summary I'll just say that if you're looking at getting into Arduino, and you find it intimidating at all, have a look at all these all these uh, file example sketch, all these example examples here. So um, I guess you can start with the basic. You've got the blink, um, then just goes on and on. There's plenty there. Um, you know, if you want to try out the little LCD, you can plug that in. Use these. You've got things for stepper motors. There's all sorts. So um, yeah, there's plenty here. You can try these out, wire them up as as they each one needs, and just see how the code works before you even have to do any um, programming and coding yourself. You can just have a look and see how it works, and then just change a little bit here and there and see what the differences make, and uh, just get started straight away and start having some fun. So um, yeah, hopefully that that helps and uh, find that interesting. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.